My name is Dr. Jacob Smigel. I'm an emergency physician, board certified in emergency medicine, and I've been working in the Hill Country outside Austin, Texas for the past five years or so. I had a little bit of a Doc Hollywood experience going out there, I think, and it's been beautiful. But I find that I'm doing different work than maybe I imagined I'd do, or maybe you imagined I would do. Most of my time is spent not treating emergencies as you might imagine them, people falling off of scaffolds or run over by cars, but rather dealing with the acute presentation of chronic disease, non-life-threatening heart attacks, strokes, diabetic complications, hypertension, for instance. And that really comes as no surprise to me because that is actually truly the, the bread and butter of emergency medicine. And I've had an interest in nutrition since medical school. I got a modicum of nutrition training in medical school, and that got me excited. And it made me curious. And I've been asking patients what they think about nutrition and what they think about healthy diets. And what I can ascertain from five years of spending time in uh, Burnett, Texas, and I'm representing those people here today, is that most people's perception of diet has to do with three facts that they're sure of. Protein's good. Got to get your protein. All carbs are bad. And bananas have a whole lot of potassium in them. That basically sums up the nutritional knowledge of most people. And furthermore, there's a disconnect. Because when, I, when I ask them, do you think the foods that you're eating could make you sick? They say, oh, yeah. Do you think maybe changing the foods that you eat could make you well? Mm, I don't know. They don't seem to think so. There's a clear disconnect there for me. Uh, and that's why I think we need clear public health messaging. The clearer the messaging, the better. This works in regards to public smoking or smoking campaigns and to wearing seat belts or safe sex practices. This is how we change the health of the public. And I, I'm here today to, to urge you for clear messaging regarding the optimal diet for human health. I note from the 2015 guidelines, for instance, that a, a notation that there's strong evidence from mostly prospective cohort studies but also randomized controlled trials having shown that eating patterns that include lower intake of meats as well as processed meats and processed poultry are associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease in adults. Moderate evidence indicates that these eating patterns are associated with reduced risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. You know, the scourge of the ER, if not um, all healthcare professionals. And I imagine a continuum of clear recommendations from you know, grade school, through adulthood, that this is demonstrated in our public institutions and in our public schools. And uh, I would recommend to the panel to recommend one dietary pattern, recommended to eat a whole food plant-based diet, as has been mentioned before, but around whole grains, beans and pulses, uh, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds as the optimal way to make big changes to get big results. Thank you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more highlights and information about the changing dietary guidelines in 2020, an exclusive analysis you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And make sure to hit that notification bell too so you don't miss the next video. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan, next.